So to be able to prove the addition formally using a geometric proof, we first need two right angle triangles. And we're going to call these angles alpha and beta. They'll stand for our A and B in the final formulae. But since I'm going to start by labeling my triangles, my A, B and C, I don't want to confuse things by having a similar letter inside. Now, additionally, I'm going to need to also create a few more triangles within this. So I'm going to join that one up there and join that one there. So you have triangle A, B, C, and then it's called the second triangle here, A, C, D. And then we need a letter E for where this one's joined and a letter F where this one is joined. This is going to be an additional right angle here, an additional right angle here. And finally, this length AD must equal 1 in size. Now, we know that this angle here is 90 minus alpha, which then I look at this small angle here because that's 90 degrees this small angle is going to be alpha which means that this one's 90 minus alpha which means that this angle here is alpha so I can say that angle F D C in fact I'm going to do my angle like this is equal to alpha so now this is what we've got. So let's look at triangle ACD. So from this triangle, I can state that sine beta is, so sine of beta is opposite over hypotenuse. So CD over AD. And since we know that AD is one, I can say that sine beta is equal to CD. Let's look at cos beta. So cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's going to be AC over AD. And again, as AD is 1, I can say that cos beta is equal to AC. So now I know that the length of these two sides so AC, you can see, is now cos beta in terms of its length. And CD is sine beta in terms of its length. Now look, let's look at this triangle. So FCD, FCD. And again, let's look. So sine alpha is going to be opposite, which is CF over hypotenuse which is CD and remember that CD is sine beta so sine alpha equals CF over sine beta so CF must be sine alpha times sine beta so CF equals sine alpha sine beta. Now let's look at finding cos alpha. So cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So df over cd. And df, of course, we don't know. But cd we know is sine beta. So I can now see that df is equal to cos alpha sine beta. And again, I can now add this to my list. So df is cos alpha sine beta. Next, let's look at our bottom triangle, A CB or ABC triangle here. 
So as before, we'll start off again looking at trigonometry. So sine alpha is opposite over hypotenuse. So we're looking at BC over AC. Now you can see that we've already found AC is cos beta here. So that means that sine alpha equals BC over cos beta. Or BC is equal to sine alpha cos beta. So let's add that one to our list. BC equals sine alpha cos beta. Now let's find cos of alpha. Now cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So AB over AC. Now AB we don't know, but AC we know is our cos beta. So this is AB over cos beta. So AB must be cos alpha times cos beta. And again, now we have another side to add to our list. AB is cos alpha cos beta. Now that we have these four sides with these four terms, as you can see here, we should be able to prove the addition formally. Now, just before we go any further, there's a few additional bits that we need to look at. So, for example, we found the length BC, and BC is the same size as EF. So I want to add that one in. So next to BC, I also want to add in that this is also EF. And then if I look at FC or CF, which is here, we can see that CF is the same as EB. So I also want to add that in. So this CF is the same as EB. Now, finally, let's look at this triangle. A to E to D. Okay, because this triangle has the alpha angle alpha plus beta in it. So I've got something like this. And I can see, I know this is a right angle at the bottom here. DF is cos alpha sine beta. And EF is sine alpha cos beta. So this is this distance here. And this one is this distance here. So now if I look at my trigonometry, I'm going to look at sine of alpha plus beta. So I'm looking at the sine of this whole angle here. I'm looking at this triangle, uh, which I'm drawing in red here, as a whole. And it's going to be opposite, which is DE over hypotenuse which is a d and we can see that de is going to be cos alpha plus beta plus sine alpha plus beta so we have sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta and that is over one Therefore, sine alpha plus beta is sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta. And you can see then that is our first formula for the addition formulae. Sine A plus B is sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. Okay, now looking at the triangle again, this time we want to find out what this length AE is. 
So I can see that AB, which is this full length here, is cos alpha cos beta. And I can see that EB, which is this length here, is sine alpha sine beta. So I know that AE is AB minus that EB. So I know it's the cos alpha cos beta minus sine alpha sine beta. I'm just going to tidy this up. So hopefully this is a bit more clear and again now I'm going to look at the whole triangle so this is the angle alpha plus beta so I look at cos of alpha plus beta and it's going to be adjacent which is my AE over my hypotenuse which is AD so AE is cos alpha cos beta minus sine alpha sine beta and this is of course over 1, therefore cos alpha plus beta is equal to cos alpha cos beta minus sine alpha sine beta. And there we have the second additional formula. And then once we've proved these two, which I've now written in terms of A and B instead of alpha and beta, we can use these to find the additional formulae. So to find tan A plus B, this is going to be sine A plus B over cos A plus B. And sine A plus B is sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. And cos A plus B is cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. And then we want to divide everything by cos A cos B. And that's how we'll get our tan here. Sine A over sine of cos A will be the tan A and cos B over cos B will cancel. That's what we're looking for. So now we have sine A cos B over cos A cos B plus cos A sine B over cos A cos B and that's all over cos A cos B over cos A cos B minus sine A sine B over cos A cos B. Now a couple will cancel here and on the bottom cos A and cos B's will cancel there. This will now leave me tan A plus tan B. Everything's cancelled from this first one, so I've got 1, and then I've got tan A times tan B. So that then is the formula for tan A plus B. And there you have the three addition formulae. Now, if you want to find sine A minus B, or cos A minus B, or tan a minus b all you need to do is substitute minus b into your b in these equations remembering that cos of a negative angle is just the same as cos of that angle whereas sine of a negative angle is the same as negative sine of the positive angle to use these two um, rules when you're applying it to change your addition formula. In case you're still curious, I'll do it in a speeded up form 
uh, next.